Hi, this is Professor Lewis. Thanks for taking a few minutes to take an online tour of my labs. When you enter our space, um, the first thing that you encounter are actually the student offices. So here's one small uh, office cluster. Um, zipping around here, you see our computer center where we have a Mac and a Linux box for connecting to uh, the university supercomputers. Here's the, the larger office cluster uh, where the majority of folks sit. Uh, and then right uh, behind that is where we enter the main labs. As we step into the lab a little further, uh, you can start to see some of the facilities that make things work on a day-to-day -day basis. Solvent purification is here. Um, opposite that, we have our large uh, centrifuges for handling cell cultures. Uh, there's a speed back for removing solvents. And then of course our glove boxes. Uh, here we have some plumbed solvent balance, all the sorts of things one typically finds in a in a glove box for organometallic chemistry. But we have a second box that's uh, for working with air sensitive proteins, the wet box, and you see more molecular biology type stuff in there. Um, as we move into one of the main labs, uh, you saw the minus 80 freezer there. Here's a little bit better view with a couple vertical incubators next door, minus 20 freezer there. And then of course our large capacity uh, incubators, so this is where uh, we incubate plates for uh, enzyme variants for direct evolution. Just walked past our laminar, laminar flow cabinet. We have a PCR thermal cycler. This is what the molecular biology benches looks like, look like in general. Um, here's another view. Again, all the typical stuff that one would find uh, in a lab for molecular biology. This is a little uh, unlike something you'll find in most labs. So we have a significant amount of automation. Here we have a thermo spinnaker arm to move plates back and forth between several instruments, including a Hamilton uh, liquid handler. We have a plate reader, we have a plate filler. Um, we're gonna zoom quickly past our colony picker there. And you see plate hotels to hold lots of plates. Fridges, more incubators, uh, split leaf philodendron, uh, more molecular biology benches. Um, and on this side, another view of that, uh, also another view of the, the philodendron. Um, here we also have a rotovap and um, a bioreactor. Uh, now you also see the first of our chemistry fume hoods. On the other side of this, um, we see more hoods, more chemistry bench, um, all of these sorts of things that help the chemistry side uh, of the lab uh, operate. Um, as we move out of that bay, uh, or spin around a bit, I guess, um, but then move out of that bay. We enter a side room here where we have our biotage. Um, you also see uh, uh, balance and another rotovap, but we also here have our SFC, our UPLC, and our HPLC. So that about does it for our main lab space, and we'll zip over to the PBIF, uh, which, as this text notes, is down the hall and has a huge range of instruments that we use on a regular basis. So there's a lot of imaging capacity in this room, uh, large capacity uh, centrifuges also. Again, more imagers here. Um, on the opposite side, we have thermal cyclers. Uh, there's a UV vis that we use regularly. Um, instrument here for microscale thermophoresis, nice for doing binding measurements. A few other instruments, including a stop flow on the other side and an RT-PCR instrument there. Um, importantly, you can get trained on all of this stuff um, to, to use whenever you want, uh, and that's very important. Now this isn't too glamorous across the hall, but we do have access to several autoclaves and dishwashing uh, facilities. As we zip back down the hall towards our labs, um, we also have access to a cold room. And in the cold room, we have our, uh, um, our ACTA here and a number of different instruments that we just operate at, at low temperature. Finally, you can see how we are right back where we started. Uh, so almost everything we need is near our main labs, making it easy for us to do our science. Um, thanks for spending a few minutes with me. I'm happy to answer any questions you have over a Zoom meeting or via email. Uh, so I look forward to talking more with you. Thanks a lot.